This is a 2022 BMW Supra, Toyota Supra, and today it's gonna get $8,650 worth of upgrades added onto it. So over here, we have a lot of cooling upgrades. First, front mount heat exchanger, trans oil cooler, <laughs> dual auxiliary heat exchangers that would go around here, I'm guessing. Then we have the daddy of them all, the charge cooler manifold. We have these TB15 off-road and racing high-performance coolant. We have some piping here and then an inventory air intake. So today, we are gonna install all of it on this car. This car has already been femto unlocked, so we are gonna tune it to stage two. Then it's gonna get a downpipe, and then it's gonna make a whole lot power than stock. This car comes with a BMW B58 engine, which makes 380 horsepower and 360 pound-feet of torque. But after we are done with it, it's gonna be well over the 500. So let's get started. Okay, this is actually a very important part if you want to run the Supra or the B58 engine in general. Okay. On stage two and beyond, mm -hmm. right? Because this not only gives you additional cooling to your charger system, mm -hmm. but it's also future upgrade proof. So there is um, additional ports for water methanol injection as well as uh, extra ports for port injection. Okay. Yeah, to let you run more fuel if you want to achieve powers like 600 to 800 horsepower in the future. Okay. Yeah. But of course, so... the main importance of having this is to cool down your charger. Right? Okay. The cooler the charger, the denser the oxygen molecule, the denser the oxygen molecule, the better combustion rate, then you get power. And then we have a eventually air intake, which yeah. is going to sound amazing. Yeah, it's going to sound amazing. It looks amazing and it's yeah. priced amazingly too. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a question for yeah. my own sake. Mm -hmm. After all of this, yeah. can you slap a big turbo on this car? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be definitely. ready for that. Yes. Okay. All right, so all the hardware is in. Everything is all covered up. They are just putting the coolant so that we can get to tune the car and drive it really, really hard. I can't wait to drive this car because apparently this car is going to be so much crazier than the M340i, which I drove the other week. And that car was already just like, oh my God, oh my God. It just fell in love with that car. I can't wait to drive this car. It's going to be crazy. Like I can already tell. So while we are here, this CLA 45S dropped by, which is getting a big turbo. Apparently this two liter can do like 560 horsepower after the turbo is in. We have an X6 here. I mean, what's remaining of an X6? One day we are going to race this car against an Aura because the owner of the car told me that his car can beat an Aura. So we are going to put that to the test. The car comes with a 4.4 V8. Apparently some crazy horsepower. I mean, not now. Right now it looks a bit naked. Then we have an F90 M5 here, which is getting a stage two tune on it today, which is just crazy. These cars are such steals right now. I really regret buying a 530E instead of one of these, like just. And then there's an who's parked there, just like he owns the place. Like who the f wraps their car like that? I don't know that guy, but. Apparently he has a YouTube channel. You can subscribe to him if you want, but white rims and doesn't even wash it. Just like disgusting, disgusting. I heard like, like he blew up his engine twice already and now he wants to tune it. So when did people stop using their brains? I have no idea. This f***er made a video and posted it on TikTok talking about roads and how they are great and you should never break your front lip. And then he got a 5 Series and then look at this. Thinks he's better than everyone because he drives a lowered car. I don't know, man. And then we have a diesel Cayenne here. I heard these are pretty good. My friend had one of these. I drove it for a few days. They are quite fast. Once they start going and you hear the turbo, it's just like a fast, comfortable SUV. And then we have a Type R here. Thank God it has a good fitment at the back because the stock rims on these are just, they're nice, but they're just so tucked in. If I had an infinite amount of money and I bought all the BMWs in the world, I would want one of these. Because they're manual, they're amazing cars to drive. One day, 
Not anytime soon. Maybe when I'm 50 or something. It was a very familiar car that I had not seen in a very long time that we reviewed the first few weeks of my YouTube journey. It was an F10 M5 that I compared to my 520D. Like that does not sound normal. That does not sound stock at all. That thing must have turbos like this large. Look at that. Oh my god, you're not kidding. The fucking six holes. Bro, the car has six holes in the back. <laughs> oh my god. You can remove the head. They're down there. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, this car comes from the factory with a B58 engine that makes 384 horsepower and around 500 newton meters of torque. With all the upgrades that's been done to it, with all the cooling and all the stage two on the stock turbo, it's making around 520 horsepower and over 700 newton meters of torque. So let's go ahead and take it for a drive and see how it feels. Is it actually worth tuning? I've never driven a stock Supra before, but I've driven many stock B58s before and I've driven a stage 2 M340i before I'm gonna use all of that as reference to this car the 340i that I drove had a boot mode tune this has a custom tune tailored for this specific car with the specific mods all right so let's go and drive this BMW for the first time it's a, it's a, it's a Supra it's 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 a BMW Supra <laughs> Well, this interior looks very familiar. Where have I seen this before? Definitely not another Toyota. But they, they, they did not do anything to make this car even look like a Toyota. Even the sounds are like BMW sounds. I love how you have literally no visibility in this car. The windshield is just like very small, man. Let's see if this car deserves all the hype that it has had over the past couple of years. Stage two as crazy as it gets without going big turbo. We are gonna go sport. Okay, so now we are going to one, two, three. Holy fucking Oh my God. Is this the fastest car we've ever driven here? That has to be the fastest. This car. has to be the I, fastest I car. Like the G-Force was... <laughs> like the way the RPM builds up, you don't even have enough time to shift. Oh yeah. my God. It's crazy. I don't know what they did to this engine. The, the 340i didn't feel like this. One more. One more time. Bro! I'm pretty sure the zero to 60 is in the three, three seconds. Holy sh**. We should definitely revisit with a timing gear to time how fast this thing. Holy sh**. 8,650 dollars in upgrades. Is it worth it? Absolutely. And the car is so tail happy, bro. The traction light keeps flashing like it's there's no tomorrow. I would never want to drive this car with traction off unless I'm on a closed circuit because this is crazy. This is crazy. The, the ba back of the car just wants to go. These tires and this setup cannot handle this power. Uh, do you need to spend this much money on the car to make it feel like this? You can do pretty well with less cooling if you're not gonna track the car. You don't need as much cooling. Is it worth it to do all this? Yes, it definitely is. If you are gonna go to the track or if you're gonna do anything crazy, you should definitely get proper cooling. Otherwise, just get your Supra tuned, get a downpipe, get a charge pipe, get some intake, eventually. My God, this is crazy. It's been a long day. Thank you from Project A for doing the job and letting me review the car. It's been amazing. If you guys wanted to get your cars tuned, no matter what car you have, make sure to check them out. I will link their Instagram down below and tell them I sent you so they would let me borrow more cars for you. See you in the next video.